The next hurdle would be getting the picture into theaters. UA did not want to release the film that year because UA had network and they had Bound for Glory. The president of MGM uh, at the time sent me a letter after he saw the film and he said, I want to remind you that we still have the right to sell the film directly to television and not give it a theatrical release. When Rocky was released in November of 1976, it was still a long shot. How would a mass audience take to a movie about a boxer who doesn't even win? I thought it was going to end up in the bottom half of a double bill in a drive-in in Alabama or something. We didn't open the movie to a lot of theaters, I remember, you know, Philadelphia and a few other places. I got a copy of the New York Times, which had this terrible, terrible review. The first review that came out was Vincent Canby, a bomb. Thumbs down. He hated the movie. <laughs> I was standing in front of the theater uh, where it was playing and reading this review, and it was really uh, devastating. And out of the theater comes Peter Falk, and he said, hey, congratulations, uh, it, the picture's just great. And I said, Peter, look at this terrible review in the New York Times. And he said, Irwin, don't look at the review, just go inside.